all. My name is Sophia, and I'm honored to serve one year free MC tonight. I'm 16 years old and a member of a Spurs Oak Club of Power County. I've been a member of the Horse 4 H for a total of five years. During all of those years, I have carried the horse project and have done many things revolving around horses. My name is Carl Eckert, and I will also be serving as MC tonight while we celebrate all the Maryland 4 H program has achieved in 2021. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am formerly a member of the Mountain Valley 4 H Livestock Club, where I at one time held the office of vice president. I was also a member of the Just Covenant 4 H Horse and Pony Club, where I have held the office of president and vice president. Well, during my 4 H career, I have completed steer, goat, horse, and public speaking projects. I have also completed a diamond clover project level six, where I helped equip and upgrade my school's robotics lab. It is great to be here with you this evening. My name is Autumn and I'm your third host for tonight's festivities. I'm a senior in the Busy Beavers 4 H Club in Talbot County. I'm in 10th grade and I've been a member of 4 H since I was in second grade. In 4 H, I love completing projects like arts and crafts, photography, child care, sewing, pet care, healthy living, food and nutrition, and leadership. This year, I'm working on my Diamond Clover Level 6 project involving educating youth about strategies they can use to help de-stress and to practice mindfulness. I will be creating a serenity garden with a bench, nature mosaic, and positive message rock garden. Although this year's gala is virtual, we are still excited to spend an evening with you and celebrate building on the best. You can join in by the fun by liking and sharing these recordings found on the Maryland Forage Foundation's Facebook page and the Maryland Forage YouTube channel. We also invite you to share on how you're celebrating these outstanding 4 Hers and their achievements on social media using hashtag building on the best. Now let's get the celebration started. Like any 4 H event, we'll begin with the pledges. Please welcome officers of the 2022 Maryland Forage State Council to present the Pledge of Allegiance and the 4 H Pledge. Hi everyone, my name is Jason and I'm the VP of the Public Relations Committee. Hey everyone, I'm Abby and I'm the Service Committee Vice President on the Maryland Forage State Council. Hey everyone, my name is Patrick and I'm the President of the Maryland Forage State Council. Hi everyone, my name is Abby and I am the Secretary of the Maryland Forage State Council. Hi everyone, my name is Ashlyn and I am the Vice President of the Planning and Outreach Committee. Now on to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Now the Forage Pledge. I pledge my head to clearer thinking. My heart to greater loyalty. My hands for larger service. And my health to better look. For my club, my community, my country, and my world. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of your time at the gala. Thank you, Jason, Abby, Patrick, Abby, and Ashlyn. State Council of Maryland 4-H's premier leadership opportunity composed of teams from all across the state. Members received the chance to represent their county 4-H program at the state level and bring up their unique ideas to help shape the direction and focus of Maryland 4-H. The mission of State Council members is to promote 4-H across the state and engage with the members of their community. I would encourage all members 4-H's age 13 through 18 to consider applying to the state council to learn, connect with others, and grow into true leaders. Now, on to show. Okay, gala awardees, it's almost time to open up your gala award kits. We welcome back Patrick Gardner, president of the Maryland 4-H State Council for the big reveal. Thank you, Sophia, and hello everyone again. Now, before we get to opening these special surprises, let's take a moment to thank those who made these packages possible. First up, the College of Agricultural and Natural Resources, as well as the Mid-Atlantic Farm Credit, the Maryland Agricultural Fair Board, and the Maryland 4-H Foundation. Thank you all for your continued support of the 4-H program, and especially thank you for these awesome packages. Now, let's get to opening one up. Aw, oh, dude, no way! This is so cool! Alright, so let's see what we got here. First up, everyone is going to be receiving a certificate from the Maryland 4-H Foundation on their achievement. That will be for whatever reward you've received today. Additionally, you're going to receive a letter from the Executive Director of the Maryland 4-H Foundation and a letter from Dr. Nia Fields, the 4-H Program Coordinator for Maryland. Now, from the Foundation, you are also going to receive a 4-H fidget popper and that's going to have the 
head heart, it's upside down. Head heart hands health logo on the side. Super nice. Aw, oh, this is so cool. We have party poppers in here. Oh. Now the university, they provided us with some really cool stuff. So each of you will have received a little piece of merchandise from the university. That can either be a lanyard, a pin, or a phone wallet like this one here. You're also gonna receive a flyer called Transform to Terp that's specific to 4-Hers and a general brochure from the University of Maryland. Now Farm Credit has provided us with two very special surprises. I got a tip clip and some hand sanitizer. Now lastly, in five of these packages, there are going to be golden tickets. And as you can see, no golden tickets here. So that means there's still five out there waiting to be found. Recipients of these golden tickets can exchange them at a later date with the Maryland 4-H Foundation for another special award. So good luck to everyone out there. And Sophia, I've got some confetti to clean up. So on with the rest of the gala. Wow, Patrick, how exciting. That was awesome. 4-Hers, be sure to share your awards with us on social media using hashtag building on the best. The Maryland 4-H Awards Gala is an annual recognition event designed to honor those committed to the excellence and positive youth development. Thank you for joining us and our leadership team from Maryland 4-H, the Maryland 4-H Foundation, and the University of Maryland College of Agricultural and Natural Resources as we highlight the accomplishments of our Maryland 4-H members from the past year. We are pleased to have greetings from Mr. Blair Hill, president of the Maryland 4-H Foundation. Hi, on behalf of the Maryland 4-H Foundation Board, I'd like to congratulate all of our award winners and their families. Our mission at the Maryland 4-H Foundation includes supporting the success of 4-H participants by providing resources for regional and national trips, educational scholarships and leadership programs. Our award winners know this, and I will ask you to continue on the path that you're on. Continue to pursue all the opportunities that 4-H provides. I personally don't know where I would be without my involvement in 4-H. I know I wouldn't be sitting here today talking to you as president of the Maryland 4-H Foundation. I don't know if I would have developed the lifelong friendships that I have through 4-H that all started at the Howard County Fair. I don't think I would have had the opportunity to represent Maryland on the 4-H dairy judging team and travel to Louisville, Kentucky and Madison, Wisconsin. And I don't know if I would have attended the University of Maryland or have the career I have today if it wasn't for my involvement in 4-H. So award winners, continue on the path that you're on. To the family and friends that are joining us, I will ask you to continue to support your 4-Hers but I wouldn't be doing my job as the president of the foundation if I didn't ask for your financial support. Consider this year giving to the foundation. Even a small dollar amount can go a long way to help us support 4-H youth. Beyond this year, consider including us as part of your overall estate plan. Again, a small bequest can go a long way to creating a legacy for yourself and your family and we will promise to be excellent stewards of your dollars and provide opportunities both now and in the future for our 4-H youth. Again, I thank you for your time and I congratulate our award winners. Thank you, Mr. Hill, for everything the foundation does to support Maryland 4-H. The Maryland 4-H Foundation has helped generations of youth learn and grow through their generous support of leadership trips, events and opportunities, and scholarships. Now, to bring greetings from the College of Agricultural and Natural Resources, please welcome Dr. Craig Beirutti, Dean of the College. Well, good evening. My name is Craig Beirutti, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Dean of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources at the University of Maryland here in College Park. I also serve as the Director of Extension. And a big part of Extension is 4-H. And this is just a wonderful opportunity to welcome all of you to the 4-H Gala, which is truly a celebration of the accomplishments of all of our youth and the ability for us to really thank our donors and our volunteers, which are absolutely huge. There is no way in the world that we could actually have this program of 4-H, which is really the largest youth program in the nation, 
uh, without the support that we get from all of the volunteers and all of the donors that really make this happen. But tonight is a special night, and this is really to recognize our students for the wonderful accomplishments that they've made, the impact that they've actually had in terms of their overall programs and the people that they've come in contact with, and really to recognize them for, I think, an outstanding and very, very bright future. You know, this is part of our land-grant mission. We are a land-grant university. We're very, very proud of our land-grant heritage, and a big part of our land-grant heritage is really to be working with our youth. We have our extension personnel that are absolutely dedicated to our youth. They spend days, evenings, night, uh, weekends uh, working with our youth in so many different ways, and they are absolutely laser focused on helping our youth develop all sorts of skills, leadership skills, engagement skills, working with communities, working with teams, and the like. And so on behalf of, of that whole crew, uh, it really is a pleasure for me to welcome you all tonight. You know, I was really reflecting on the impact, and I know that COVID has had a huge impact on everybody, but the impact that COVID has had on, and on in particular, our young generation. And as I was thinking about that, I was trying to make a parallel. This may not be a very good one, but if you recall, the generation that was involved in World War II, when they came out of that and the experiences that they had, they were termed the greatest generation. I think that this young generation, all of you that represent our youth uh, in 4-H, have experienced something, uh, in a way, uh, something that is like uh, what was experienced back then. It's an enemy. It's an invisible enemy. It is COVID. It's a germ. But you've experienced an awful lot. You've experienced disappointment. You've been experienced working together. And you've experienced ways of actually continuing to advance regardless of all of these roadblocks that have been put in front of us. And so what we're doing today is really celebrating what you've done, what you've accomplished in light of the impact that COVID has actually had on each and every one of you. So on behalf of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, behalf of the entire Extension program, and all the people that make up Extension, our Extension faculty and staff, our volunteers and our donors, I want to welcome each and every one of you tonight to our 4-H Gala. Thank you, Dean Beirutti. We appreciate your support of the various 4-H activities held across the state and hope to see you throughout 2022. For those who may not know, the University of Maryland College Park is a Maryland's land grant university compromise of academics, research, and extension. The Maryland 4-H program is a part of the University of Maryland's extension, the statewide non-formal education unit of the College of Agricultural and Natural Resources. You may have heard Dr. Field say, in many ways, your involvement in 4-H is really your first college course delivered in your community by your land grant university. Dr. Bibruti, we look forward to seeing you in College Park in April for Maryland Day, the campus-wide open house featuring Ag Day activities. Next, we will hear from Dr. Jim Hansen, Associate Dean of University of Maryland, College of Agricultural and Natural Resources, and Associate Director of University of Maryland Extension. Uh, good evening. Um, congratulations to our Diamond Clover winners. Uh, congratulations to our national competitive teams and our project winners. And also, you know, congratulations to all those 4-H Foundation scholarship uh, winners. You know, it's like you all have done a great job, and I'm so pleased that you'll be um, recognized in tonight's gala. But I also want to say at this point, thank you to the 4-H Foundation. You provide the scholarships, you raise the money for our activities, and our 4-H program in Maryland is so, more, so much more successful than it could be because of your contributions. So thank you. Um, but I also want to thank the volunteers. If anything, I mean, the rewards of working with youth you know, are still um, unchanged. Having said that, with you know, Zoom classes, CDC limitations, university limitations, it's been a challenge. And I, I really thank you all for sticking with it. I mean, it's like the, the evidence of your work is seen tonight, but I just want to specifically say thank you. And also, the UME uh, faculty and staff in 4-H, you all have done a great job, and it's much appreciated, too. You've worked through the same hassles the rest of us have, and you've really excelled. So thank you. So... At the University of Maryland, we have five-year administrative contracts. And so my administrative contract as associate dean and associate director of UME comes to an end in October. 
Um, and so that, along with the fact that I began at the university 40 years ago, 42 years ago at the Institute of Applied Agriculture in September of 1980, I will be retiring. But, you know, I have to say that, and I've perhaps shared this before, um, I was raised as a Boy Scout, so I didn't have that exposure to 4-H. But in the last four, you know, five years, I've been so impressed by the efforts of our faculty, staff, our volunteers, uh, and you, the youth, um, and just so impressed by your achievements, I just couldn't be happier for you. I really admire this approach to positive youth development. I think it has great value. As I look forward to the future, I'm reassured because not only are the 55,000 4-H youth in Maryland, but the millions across the United States, you'll assume your roles as leadership in, a, in the world, and I'm very happy for that. So again, congratulations tonight, and thank you for all your efforts. Thank you, Dr. Hansen. Throughout your distinguished career at the University of Maryland, the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources has been fortunate to have you serve in several leadership roles. You have taught many former freighters in your farm management classes over the years. They frequently refer to the practical information they learned in your classes and know how they apply that knowledge in their everyday operations. We have encouraged 4-Hers, volunteers, and 4-H faculty and staff to pursue our dreams while always making our best better. We look forward to seeing you at 4-H events throughout 2022. The Maryland 4-H program is a partnership between families, volunteers, sponsors, and donors who work with 4-H faculty and staff in all 23 counties and Baltimore City. This wide network of support is cultivated and nurtured by the state staff at the Maryland Forest Center. Next year, greetings for our Maryland Forest Program Leader, Dr. Nia Amani Fields. What a year this has been. Lots of things to celebrate. Our resiliency, our flexibility, and our ability to adapt to this ever-changing year with so much uncertainty. As I've reflected over the last year, there are at least four things that I am proud of. One are our 4-Hers and families, your continued commitment to 4-H, your ability and willingness to learn, to try new things, and to empathize with the world around you continues to inspire me. Number two are our volunteers. Without you, we could not reach over 50,000 youth across our state with hands-on learning opportunities, finding their sparks, trying new things, and offering new opportunities for them to continue to grow and learn. We thank you. Number three is our 4-H team. You are some of the most dedicated people that I know. Your ability to be flexible over this last year and show commitment to our youth across our state does not go unnoticed. We appreciate all of your work and efforts. And number four is our future. We are committed to building back better and we are so encouraged and inspired by what the future holds we remain committed to offering positive youth development experiences in leadership, in STEM, animal and agricultural sciences, and healthy living. And the future looks brighter with all of us working together. Tonight, I wanna to congratulate all of our award winners for all of the great work that you've done over the past year. You should be proud of your work and your efforts, especially in such a difficult year. We are looking forward to this year together, and we are so thankful to have you in 4-H. Thank you, Dr. Fields. Your commitment to ensuring 4-H faculty and staff and volunteers were able to serve you while meeting the unique challenges of the past year is greatly appreciated. Your positive outlook, creative thinking, and enthusiasm is an inspiration to all 4 Hers across the state. While we all embrace the use of technologies to keep our 4-H clubs and programs going, we certainly look forward to seeing you in person at events throughout 2022. Next, we'll hear from Rose Green Colby, the Executive Director of the Maryland 4-H Foundation. Welcome, and thank you for joining us for this celebration of 4-H achievements. I started with the Maryland 4-H Foundation just over a year ago, and I wanted to share my thanks with all of you. Thank you to all of the youth leaders, educators, adult volunteers, mentors, and role models providing great experiences for Maryland youth. Thank you to the dedicated Maryland 4-H Foundation Board of Directors and our supporters for your continued commitment to the 4-H program. In my travels around the state, at contests, events, and fairs this year, I saw the impact 4-H programs can have on a community of youth. 
Thank you for sharing your passions, accomplishments, and successes with me this year. To recap, in 2021, the foundation provided a successful 4 for 4-H campaign, raising over $20,000 for Maryland 4-H programs. Look for our 2022 4 for 4-H campaign in April. The Maryland 4-H Foundation awarded 45 scholarships to deserving students, totaling over $59,000 in educational awards for 4-H participants around the state. And we support Maryland 4-H participation in state events and national trips throughout the year. The Maryland 4-H Foundation is here to support and advocate for each of you. We look forward to a year of making the best better. Thank you, Ms. Green Colby. I know you'll enjoy experiencing the 4-H magic in person at our 2022 events. Thank you for your leadership of the Maryland 4-H Foundation Board of Directors who, in turn, manage the gifts from hundreds of donors who support great opportunities for Maryland 4-Hers. I enjoy and appreciate all the ways the Foundation has supported my 4-H career. We would like to thank those donors and organizations who made this virtual gala possible. The Maryland 4-H Foundation and the Maryland 4-H program value the long-standing relationships with multiple partners across the state. Thank you to the Board of Directors of the Maryland 4-H Foundation, multi-generational donors and first-time donors, administration from the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, University of Maryland Extensions Administrators. We're also grateful for long-standing partnerships with the Maryland Agricultural Fair Board, the Maryland State Fair and Agricultural Society, Mid-Atlantic Farm Credit, and American Farm Publications. The partnership between state, local forage program specialists, faculty, and staff enables the Maryland Forage Foundation Board of Directors to provide financial support for traditional and new programs. We thank these groups and individuals for your financial support to make the best better. You can support the efforts of the Maryland Fridge Foundation by donating online at www.mymarylandforhfoundation.com or mail, mail your donation to the Maryland Fridge Foundation, 8020 Greenmead Drive, College Park, Maryland, 20740. Starting with supporting 4-H in Maryland communities, we would like to recognize our Diamond Clover recipients. An award designed to encourage 4-H members to engage in activities to strengthen their community service and civic engagement. Our Diamond Clover honorees are examples of positive youth development with a passion to support their communities. Today, we honor members who have completed their level five and level six requirements, the highest levels of Diamond Clover program. Without further ado, here are your first awardees of the night, the Emerald Clover recipients. John Chapel. Angela Edelson, Felicia Fishburne, Sadie Fishburne, David Guyman, Andres Guerra, Laura Halskamp, Arches Joshi, Cole Keppel, Andrew Nats, Max Kurth Ford. Isabel Lopez, Preston Miller, Mason Qualls, Morgan Qualls, Caitlin Rickard, Vicki Shan, Annabelle Talber, Brooklyn Tasker, Trent Vallandingham, Braden Vanderborn. Ava Weirs, and Angel Wiggins. Congratulations to all of our Emerald Clover recipients. Now on to our level six Diamond Clover awardees. The Diamond Clover is the highest individual honor a 4-H member can earn. The Diamond Clover project, level six, has the purpose to develop, plan, and execute a project that makes a difference in communities with a minimum of 100 hours of service. Caitlin Bradley with her project, The Giving Cabinet. Poverty is a big issue in the counties surrounding Caitlin and her church. In Dorchester County, the poverty rate is 15.4% and is the fourth highest in the state. Due to poverty and COVID-19, 
people are having a hard time accessing essential everyday items. Many people have been laid off from their jobs and people at high risk are limiting their exposure. Caitlin recognized the need for a giving cabinet within her community, so she created a cabinet that would be placed at Gethsemane United Methodist Church, where church and community members now have access to essential items such as toothpaste, masks, blankets, sanitizers, combs, and other important items. Sarah Chapel and her project, Fostering the Love of Music and Musical Instruments. Sarah began offering a music and craft program three times a week for each of the three 4-H age groups, juniors, intermediates, and seniors. Each week, Sarah would develop a musical instrument theme and devise a session to teach the instruments and complete a do-it-yourself instrument. A lot of planning went into each week and Sarah was able to raise funds to purchase a set of kids' musical instruments and dance scarves to be used by the center in the future. She also compiled music lessons and craft instructions in a binder that can be replicated. Joshua Rinko, the, in his project, The Farmer Grows. The Farmer Grows project is an educational program designed for children ages two to six. A child's brain develops from birth to age five more so than any other time in their life. Early brain development has a lasting impact on a child's ability to learn and succeed in school and in life. And farmers, raise food products that we rely on for nutrition and pleasure. But Joshua discovered that many kids may not know where their food comes from. To help educate kids on where their food originates at an early age, Joshua made a coloring book, matching game, and educational display. Holly Mahala, Shoot for a Cure. Holly's project, Shoot for a Cure, is a sporting clay breast cancer benefit shoot. The sporting clay course had 17 stations with breast cancer fact sheets placed throughout the 17 stations to teach people the symptoms, potential causes, and treatments of breast cancer, as well as other breast cancer-related information. Displayed at each station was the name of individual sponsors or company sponsors that helped fund this event. Due to breast cancer treatment and supplies being very costly, Holly's Level 6 Diamond Clover Project is to benefit breast cancer patients, survivors, and other breast cancer-related needs. Logan Mason, Preserving the Past for the Present. The Bumblebee Ridge Cemetery on Bumblebee Road near Deep Creek Lake in Garrett County was in very rough shape. Its original fence installed 20 years ago was falling apart, there were dead pine trees, and the old sign for the cemetery was falling apart and had to be taken down. Information on the cemetery was not easily accessible, so Logan conducted research and determined who was laid to rest at Bumblebee Ridge. Logan's Diamond Clover project has benefited his community by preserving history and left a lasting personal impact on Logan as well. Ashton Millhall, Catio and Platform at Baywater Animal Rescue. For his level six project, Ashton constructed an outside cat patio called a Catio, attached to the cat house at the Baywater Animal Rescue in Cambridge, Maryland. Ashton's project is designed for cats to leave an enclosed room through a double window so they can lay in the sunlight of a 10 by 12 foot screened in area on a raised deck. The catio will also be used for those who potentially want to adopt cats to see them sunbathing in a different environment. Ryan Milhall, Trail and Trail Bridge for the Baywater Animal Rescue. Dogs love exercise and often dogs can traverse obstacles and terrain better than us humans. One such obstacle was a drainage ditch at the Baywater Animal Rescue. To solve this problem, Brian built and installed an arched footbridge spanning a drainage ditch for the Baywater Animal Rescue for his Level 6 Diamond Clover project. Brian's bridge connects trails that help volunteers to continue walking along the path with the Baywater dogs at the rescue. Pippa Millholland, Dog Park at Baywater Animal Rescue. Every minute a rescue dog is out of a kennel is a time of freedom, fresh air, exercise, and companionship. And Pippa wanted a place where volunteers could come to walk the dogs and have a place to sit and relax and maybe even read to a Baywater furry friend. So she made a dog park at the Baywater Animal Rescue amongst the wooded walking dog trails. Colin Rickert, how to harness 3D printers to help the community. Colin understands the potential that additive manufacturing processes such as 3D printing hold in the future. And this potential was realized even more during the pandemic creating a demand for personal protective equipment, or PPE. Collins Project helped create PPE and raised awareness of the versatility and significance of 3D printing and how it can help a community. Be it making PPE 
or by creating anything else made from plastic, such as emergency supply boxes, parts for equipment, and more. Sophia Sherman, Save the Planet, one bottle at a time. As someone who grew up by the Chesapeake Bay, Sophia was already aware of the abundance of plastic in the water, but had no idea how pervasive the issue was throughout the country. To combat this form of pollution, Sophia raised funds selling reusable water bottles to install an eco-friendly water fountain at the middle school she attended. The new eco-friendly water fountain had a spigot, like a regular water fountain, and a water bottle filler to encourage reusable water bottles. Anika Veltis, Rabbit Hutch Rebuild. Anika knew the importance of teaching children about agriculture, so she decided to assist the Friends of Kinder Farm Park in rebuilding the Kinder Rabbit Hutch. Her hutch design allows for children of all abilities to become involved in and learn about agriculture through hands-on education. In addition, the run of her hutch build is equipped with many new elements the rabbits can play on. Rose Warren, portable outdoor classroom. Many high schoolers have the problem of a busy, overwhelming schedule that is stressful. This stress coupled with the pandemic can devastate a student's overall academic performance. Being outdoors can decrease stress, improve motivation, and hopefully improve academic performance, but not every student has time for that. Rose's portable outdoor classroom solves the issue of a busy schedule interfering with enjoying the outdoors by improving their mood, decreasing stress levels, improving motivation, and hopefully improving one's overall academic performance. Congratulations to our Diamond Clover Level 6 Project awardees on your determination and perseverance in completing your projects. We know you faced extra challenges in 2021. You succeeded in achieving your goal during a global pandemic. Know that your desire to make the best better has paid off. And once again, congratulations. Now on to our state level project accomplishments and trips. We are so proud of all of our individuals and teams who represented Maryland 4-H on a national scale in 2021. 2021 National 4-H Conference Delegation. National 4-H Conference took place virtually in April of 2021. National 4-H Conference is the pinnacle experience in 4-H civic engagement, providing the opportunity for young people to connect, learn, engage, lead, and impact their communities, their nation, and their world. The delegates chose an important societal topic and in roundtable groups prepare a briefing. During the conference, the groups present their briefing to federal officials around the Washington, D.C. area. Our 2021 delegation to National 4-H Conference was Cy Devella, Madison Glover, Benjamin Lee, Jordan Lee, and chaperone Gretchen Sumbrum. 2021 Maryland 4-H Dairy Bowl team. Team members Cy Devella, Elizabeth Caridis, Coaches April Barczewski and Amanda German. The team completed at the National Dairy Bowl Contest in Louisville, Kentucky. Additionally, Elizabeth was seventh in written test portion. 2021 Maryland 4-H Dairy Judging Team. Team members Morgan Osborne, Wathley, Emma Schnebley, Bryce Zepp, Kelsey Zepp. Coaches Sarah Potts, Ryan Schnebley, and Jeff Semler. The team was second in oral reasons and third overall team at the Invitational Youth Dairy Cattle Judging Contest at the All-American Dairy Show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And they were seventh in placings, third in oral reasons, and fifth overall team at the National 4-H Dairy Judging Contest at the World Dairy Expo. Our four horse teams represented Maryland at the Eastern National 4-H Horse Roundup held in Louisville, Kentucky. 2021 Maryland Hippopology Team. Team members Abigail Grove, Sophia Heyer, Alyssa Priest, Coach Christy Yingling. They were 10th team in problem solving. 2021 Maryland 4 H Horse Bowl Team. Team members Carl Eckert, Raven Heron, Zoe Magnus, Angel Wiggins. Coach Lisa Folco. They were seventh in overall team. 2021 Maryland 4-H Horse Communications Team. Team member Marissa Bookoff. Coach Karen Scott. 
Congratulations to Marissa, who was fourth in individual presentation. 2021 Maryland 4-H Horse Judging Team. Team members, Brianna Bongard, Eva Bryant, Megan Downing, Logan McKenzie, Coach Jacqueline Merriam. They were ninth in halter, eighth in performance, 10th in reasons, and ninth in overall team. 2021 Maryland 4-H Poultry Judging Team. Team members, Delena Bryant, Lillian Lawrence, Anthony Ryder, coaches Angelique Livesey, Lisa Ryder. They were second in market eggs and seventh overall team at the National 4-H Poultry Judging Contest. We are so proud of all of our 4-H members and volunteers who represent Maryland 4-H at national events and contests. You can help support these life-changing opportunities by providing financial support to the Maryland 4-H Foundation. Remember, you can easily donate online at www.mymaryland4hfoundation.com or mail your contribution. We will now recognize our State Animal Science Projects and Record Awards. This program offers 4-H members the opportunity to demonstrate mastery of their animal science projects through record keeping activities. Tonight, we recognize nine recipients for their distinguished levels of engagement in the Maryland 4-H Animal Science Program in excellence in project record keeping activities. Award winners will receive a belt buckle. Additionally, we will recognize the top award winner who will receive a plaque. All awards are sponsored by the University of Maryland Extension. Beef cattle, Raven Heron. Dairy goats, Joseph Gale IV. Dogs, Charlotte King. Horse and pony, Kate Sultz. Meat goats, Riley Trotman. Poultry, Ashlyn Kidwell. Rabbits, Miller Gruen. Swine, Andrew Nats. Veterinary Science, Caroline Clark. And the Maryland 4 H Animal Science State Overall Project and Record Award winner is Ashlyn Kidwell. To hear more about our Animal Science Award winners and their projects, visit, visit the Maryland 4-H Facebook and YouTube pages. Each year, the Maryland 4-H Foundation offers scholarships to individuals who have been Maryland 4-Hers for at least two years and are pursuing post-secondary education for the academic year 2021 to 2022. The Foundation is proud to award 45 scholarships totaling $59,000. Individual scholarships range from $500 to $12,500. This program has grown so much over the years and would not be possible without the generosity of our donors. This year, the foundation is excited to be awarding two new scholarships, the June Curran Brantover Memorial Scholarship and the E. Rankin Lusby Scholarship. The Maryland 4-H Foundation is proud to provide the following scholarships to such deserving recipients. Amelia Grace Deschel Memorial Scholarship, Gabrielle Goldie, Brenda Bourne Stair Memorial Scholarship, Cameron Barth, Charles and Judy Yeager Scholarship, Bridget King, Eric Milholland, David and Debbie Ross Scholarship, Callan Latham, Donald C. Toms Memorial Scholarship, Leslie Porterfield, Dr. Grant Hill Family Memorial Scholarship, Rebecca Brault, E. Rankin Lusby Scholarship, Bryn Lasala, Fine Arts and 4-H Scholarship, Anna Clemmer, George Edward Lechleider Memorial Scholarship, Caroline Sadoff, Howard Warfield Clark Senior Memorial Scholarship, Isabel Lopez, Irene G. and Nicholas A. Porter Memorial Scholarship, Hannah Burgess, J. Lee Majeski Dairy Memorial Scholarship, Ryan Allen, J. O'Neill and Rosa Moxley Johnston Memorial Scholarship, Taylor Birch, June Curran Brantover Memorial Scholarship, Lindsay Larkin, 
Lansdale Pew Memorial Scholarship, Katie Chapel, Carl Eckerd, Hannah Kirk, William O'Boyle, Maryland 4-H All-Star Blackhawks Scholarship, Andre Klima, Mid-East Dairy Herd Improvement Scholarship, Olivia Dinkle, Rachel Eves, Claudia Umagali, Dylan Hill, Kara Hutchinson, Chad Patterson, Paul and Fran Rock Scholarship, Bree Hoffey, Ripion Family Scholarship, Ellie Figgy, Sandy Spring Bank Scholarships, Emma Baker, Angela Bueso, Zachary Crum, Sarah Dove, Lizzie Miller, Olivia Skukderi, Zachary Spurrier, Morgan Stoba, Tamaya Taborn, Brian Yencha, Victor T. Olds Memorial Scholarship, William Britz, E. D. McDougall, Allison Stoner, Sarah Vans Riswick, W. Lawson King Memorial Scholarship, Courtney Schrader, W. Max and Baldwin J. Buckle Scholarship, Jennifer Gannon, William E. and Eileen M. King Yulhofer Memorial Scholarship, Peyton Riley. Our last scholarships of the evening will be those provided by the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. Since 2015, the college has recognized the high achievement of senior 4-H champions in nine of our state competitions. These senior high overall individuals are offered a $1,000 scholarship to attend the University of Maryland as a student in the College of AGNR. The Maryland 4-H Foundation will match the $1,000 given by the Dean for a total of $2,000 scholarship. Tonight, we will recognize the scholarship winners for contests that took place in early 2021. For top hippopology individual, Brianna Bongard. Top horse judging individual, Logan McKenzie. Top livestock skillathon individual, Riley Herbert. For overall 4-H portfolio score, Cy Devella. Congratulations to all scholarship recipients and another thank you to our longtime and new scholarship donors. Your financial support in any form can assist our 4-Hers in meeting their educational and career goals. Remember, you can easily donate online or mail your contribution to the Maryland 4-H Foundation. Thank you to my fellow MCs, Carl and Sophia, and thank you all for tuning in tonight. On behalf of the Maryland 4-H Foundation in the Maryland 4-H program, we officially close the 2022 Maryland 4-H Gala. We look forward to continuing building on the best through 2022. Consider donating to the foundation to help further their efforts to support high quality programming throughout our state. That website, one more time, is www.mymaryland4hfoundation.com or mail your contribution to the Maryland 4-H Foundation 8020 Green Mead Drive, College Park, Maryland, 20740. Goodbye. Thank you for your time tonight and in the future. Bye. And thank you for helping to make the best better.